welcome to GameFed, where no gamer is left behind. I'm Voiceless Echo, and today we're looking at The Simpsons Hit and Run for the PlayStation 2. This game came out 14 years ago. Before we look at gameplay, let's jump into some game history. The Simpsons Hit and Run video game is an action-based game, and it is based off the American animated sitcom The Simpsons, which follows around Marge, Homer, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie Simpson. Now, the game was developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Vanetti Universal Games. It was released back in 2003 for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and also for PC. Now, the beautiful thing about this game was that the story and dialogue was crafted by the writers of The Simpsons, and all the character voices were supplied by the actual cast. So it makes it really authentic. Now, the game follows the Simpson family who witness some strange things happening around Springfield, like security cameras being installed, mysterious fans, crop circles, and a new and improved flavour of the popular soft drink Buzz Cola, which causes insanity, like you could think the Simpsons could need any more. So I decided to start with the first mission of Simpsons Hit and Run, which is the Cola Keeper. Where I have to go to a Quickie Mart, purchase some ice cream and some cola. And we're off. And fair warning, my driving is pretty terrible. Through. But my understanding is this game was, it's very much akin to the good old fashioned um, Grand Theft. Uh, three. Mistakes were made. Oh, I swallowed my gum. Destroying stuff is a good thing. Oh, and as you can see, I hit a tree before. I've got to press the red button, I mean. It's just sitting there, ready to press. What is with that thing over there? Someone must be trapped. Let's go, um, check it out. Huh, if I kick it, fine, like an ATM. Except, um, I do not recommend kicking ATMs. Um, it's one way to get arrested. Or probably even kicking, um, soda machines. Because, you know, damage a public property or private property, probably not a great thing to do. Thank God for video games, right? Hey, Apu. Give me a cola and I need another bucket of ice cream with mini pies. What happened to the ice cream with mini pies your wife bought this morning? I probably ate it. I don't remember stuff too good. Look at Mole Man over there. Mm, I love Mole Man. <gasps> Congratulations, Homer. Mission complete. Go back home and talk oh, to Mom to start the next mission. Oh, no. All oh. I know is pain. It's the freezer geezer. Things have been slowed by 
frozen peas. I like dollar signs. What's that do? Uh, I don't have enough coins. Uh, mind you, though, I would get the moo moo. Comfort. to Simpson home. You know what? I say we leave it there. So that was Simpson's hit and run. Uh, brings back a lot of memories. I don't think I've gotten any better at driving over um, the years of video gaming. Xbone, like an Xbox original, sorry, lying around or a PS2 or even a GameCube. I would suggest trying to find this guy at a secondhand store or even on eBay. And giving a go if you never had, because it is really enjoyable. And I mean, it is very akin to your um, Grand Theft Auto 3. And it is voice acted very well. So that's it for Voiceless Echo today. Um, leave us a like or comment. And um, follow us on Twitter and Facebook at GameFedOfficial. All right, Voiceless Echo out.